Hi, I'm Wesley Stevenson, inventor of the Expand the Craft, among other things. Uh, today I'm um, proud to unveil a brand new invention. Um, it has a history, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. As strange a looking machine as this is, this is an electric generator that uses the wave energy on surface waves uh, to create that electricity. I'll tell you real quick, about eight years ago, I had a suspension system boat, a wave adaptive vessel uh, that I made for the military and it was for shock abatement. It was so that uh, it would make a nice weapons platform. We got funding and the uh, current administration defunded that and a lot of other military stuff. So uh, we kind of dead in the water with that one. And so what I did is I have taken the suspension system and instead of uh, dissipating energy for high speed shock abatement, I'm collecting this energy. Uh, and this is, by the way, it's a working model. Uh, we do have a large generator that's going to go on a bigger um, uh, craft. But I'm going to show you how this thing works. I'm a sailor, and it's all about block and tackle. And I have these, um, what I did originally call a, a wave adaptive uh, boat to hull design. You'll notice these hulls can fly up and down independently. What happens here is, as you can see, when, the, when it's going over the wave, it's going to spin the generator up top. Now, this is just a working model. We don't have the generator actually on it. Um, but this is a proof of concept vessel. Um, come on in and let me show you a little bit about the mechanics of this. Now, it works with a block and tackle. You'll notice on this side, we have a tower or we could call that a PTO, a power takeoff. This is where the power is coming from. Uh, by the way, this only works when you're quartering the seas, meaning when you're at a 45 degree angle from the waves. And what happens is, as this hull lifts, like so, whoops, I gotta keep this straight. As this hull lifts, the other hull is going down in the trough, and, the other one, and this one is coming up. And that pulls tension on this cable, which will then go to this cog. And Conversely, the same thing happens at the same time on the other side. As you can see, we have a power takeoff on each one. So here's what we're looking to do. I'm looking to prove that this is the most efficient uh, wave energy generator. Uh, and it should be by far. Every single one of the uh, wave generators that I have seen only create electricity on the upswell of the wave. I'm going to create electricity on the up and the down swell and on the two hulls what we have is a torsional load, a torsional force and I believe that that torsional force is going to be significant because you don't need a whole lot. If you'll notice this is not even a representative of a very large wave. This is just very small movement. This is very little movement here to a big wheel and that is what's going to create the electricity. The spinning wheel represents what would have, you'd have your magnets out here, magnetos, the whole nine yards. Uh, you spin that, it, it'll create electricity. Now, uh, here's the thing. With this craft about this size, I have a lot of autonomous vessels that have uh, lots of different research um, uh, and equipment on there. What this would do for a boat that size, forget about energy generation for the grid for right now. I think it does have tremendous potential with that, but for autonomous energy generation, this is going to produce a lot more electricity than solar. So if you have um, the need to send boats out on autonomous missions uh, for marine survey or what have you, um, this would allow your boat to stay out for months and months and months on end and generate a lot more electricity than you would with a solar um, or, or wind generator. Uh, that's what we're out to prove uh, later on. Uh, stay with me. I would put it in the water, but there's absolutely no waves uh, on uh, the uh, west coast of Florida today. Uh, so I'm going to have to wait for a good windy day or I'm going to have to take it over to the other coast uh, to get some good waves. And then we'll do a, an in-water test. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, by all means, share this uh, video with others. And um, this is just the beginning.